And risk, we've talked about before, the risk has to do with a variation in outcomes, whether or not you can predict very clearly what is going to happen now or what is going to happen in the future. How do you decide whether or not to buy that piece of equipment over the long term if you don't really know what's going to happen? Businesses have to take risky decisions all the time, and that's where financial management, in particular long-term financial management, is an important input into that process, understanding how financially the, um, the aspects of the business risk are captured in the dollars and cents of the operational environment. Different kinds of risk. For example, the highest risk type things would be something new, a new product in a new market, particularly like a foreign market that you don't understand. This is very risky because you don't know if the product's going to work. You don't know if there's going to be technology issues. You don't know if there's going to be operational issues where you just can't get the product to market. You don't know whether the foreign market is going to be the same as the, as the domestic market. Very high risk because there's so many variables that can increase the variance in outcomes. Just expanding into a new market, um, this, uh, this second item, if I get it here, this, uh, this second, oh well, that's not working. Um, expanding into a new market without a new product is also risky, but you know the product works. You know you don't have the technology issue. You know, you don't, you know you're operationally can deliver the product, at least in the old markets. So it's less risky to introduce the same product into a new market, but it's still risky, right? Introducing a new market product into a familiar market where you know and understand the, um, the marketplace, um, you know and understand the, um, the, uh, the, the market you're in, and you can try to introduce a product that you, since you know the market, you think those people, or you can study those people and even ask them if they want to purchase that product, there's a little less risk in there as well. But there's still risk, a lot of risk, meaning it may work and it may not. Likely, in the same kind of vein, you might add a new product into the product line. The product is already there. People are buying it. You know the market. You know the product. You're adding a feature or function or a new product into a product line. Again, risky, but less risky. Um, just buying some equipment to work in an established market, again, still risky, but less risky. But if you already have a market, everything's working, and you're repairing the machinery, it's less risk, right? So that's repairing old machinery is even lower risk. So this particular model, um, this particular story talks about how risk varies, but anything that goes for one, two, three, or four years that you're investing dollars and cents into has these different elements of risks, things that you have to consider and be careful of going forward. Examples, pharmaceutical companies, they spend millions of dollars developing uh, drugs and they don't even know whether or not they're going to work and whether or not they're going to be approved, right? This is one reason why drugs, these high-end drugs are so expensive, not because they're, they're expensive to manufacture, but they take so many years and they're so risky because the chemicals may work, but they may not be approved. So there's risk associated with these kinds of products as well. In fact, all investments carry with them significant risk. That's the sort of thing you have to worry about. The longer the project, the future is harder to predict the further out it is, right? That's why it's a future. Five years is harder to predict than three years, and 10 years is harder to predict than five years. So the longer your payoff, the higher the risk. Also, things can change radically in, in technology as we've seen over the last several years. So there's all sorts of reasons to be just a little bit careful about the sorts of things that you, um, you invest in. So risk has those various dimensions, many different ways to worry about it. And so you have to understand when you're developing a project that goes for multiple years inside the company, you have to understand what the variation in outcomes could be so you could value the risk. You also then have to figure out how you're going to invest and get money to purchase this or to invest and to create this long-term profit. You can use your own money or you can go to capital markets to try and get this, the, the money that you're looking for. And that's where we'll talk about 
next,